Hi, Paul O'Connor here from OEM Audio, here to talk to you today about the H Charger app that is used to customise the EV Power Ecolink EV Wall Charger. In this video, I'll take you through the screens in the app. You need to download the H Charger app from your favourite app store. See my other video on downloading the H Charger app from Google Play. OK, let's get going. Open the app and you'll see a white screen. Click in the top corner of the blue screen to begin. The app will search for Ecolink chargers in range, so you'll need to be within 15 metres of the wall charger. All Ecolink chargers in range will be listed. Then click on the one that you would like to access. The password confirmation screen is next. Click confirm to continue. Here is the main screen. The ID number of the wall charger is shown. When it says H charger, just think of that as your home charger. Access the settings by clicking the cog icon in the top right hand corner. Here is the main settings screen. Let's go through the menu line by line. First charge info. Here are the identification numbers for this particular wall charger. Click back to the main settings menu. You can also access the network mode menu. Discuss with your electrician or network management company if unsure. Click confirm. Once back in the setting menus, you can click on ES configuration. This is all about how the electrician has set up your device and concerns the grounding method used. Your electrician will know which system is the correct one. Next up is charging configuration. You have two options. Authentication free charging means that there is no security. Anyone can use your wall charger. If you would prefer to restrict access to only people with a swipe card, then turn this option on. The next option is Electronic Lock Fault Enable Mode. In untethered Ecolink wall chargers, the cable will automatically lock when you plug your cable into the socket. If there is a fault and the electronic lock stops working, so this option means that you can choose if you still want the EV wall charger to continue without the charging lock on. If you want to view your charging record, you can access them through the app. Those records can be exported to your phone. Self-inspection is a handy tool. By downloading the files, you can view a status report of your wall charger. You can see how it has been configured, set up, and how it has been performing. Password reset is a couple of simple steps. And now we're back in the settings menu, looking at operation mode. Toggle this on or off, and your wall charger will be either offline, where all operations are controlled by the app, or online, where charging operations are controlled by the platform. Now this will depend on each person's housing situation and the requirements to be met for charging in your area. The OCPP section shows you your server address, and this information would be provided by the network managing company your EV wall charger is connected to. You can enable dynamic load balancing, a great feature that allows the wall charger to regulate supply of power to the car, depending on the needs of other household appliances. Check out my other videos on DLB on YouTube. To learn more about the setting, see page 45 in your user manual. With a couple of taps, you are back to the main menu for easy access to charging statistics. Here you can see charging data display from 2nd August to 31st August. You can press on any day to see the kilowatts used. Here we see the 12 month data. Timer settings are easily accessed from the main screen. This feature allows you to set a period of time for charging. Your options are to set it only once or daily. Here we change the start time for 9pm and a finish time for 3am. Click the tick and you're done. The screen shows a summary of what you programmed in. See here that it says next day. Let's set the timer again, but do it slightly differently. I want the wall charger to charge my car every day from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Click the tick, and that setting is saved. We hope this video helped. Our aim is to show you a few of the settings. There is more detail in the user manual. Any questions, please get in touch with us.